Join me for the best advice on reducing your debt and creating remote income while living in a mobile vehicle. Now, it really doesn't matter whether it's in a car, SUV, van, trailer, or RV. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell, and you'll be notified when I post a video every time. Now, I've had over 37 years in business creating income all of my life, but only in the last five years have I dedicated to the remote income where I can actually be anywhere in the world and still produce income. Just got an order from Instacart. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the navigation and then go ahead and get to the directions that I gotta go. So that's where I gotta go nine minutes in order to start my shopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on for that and go ahead and head out. I'm arriving at Fry's uh, to start doing some grocery shopping. And that way, that's uh, how I make my money on the side hustles to supplement my regular income, which is green for two. Now I just uh, arrived at Fry's grocery store. I'm gonna start my shopping. So we're gonna go ahead and go in here and then uh, show you how shopping works with Instacart. shopping since I'm here so it will download itself and then uh, end up showing you the items that you have to pick up pretty much what it's about folks is just going down the list on each item and picking and choosing and scanning and make sure you have the right item all right next item I have is the uh, Kroger mushrooms I'm going to go ahead and hit on that and that's on aisle Twelve, and it says it's uh, from the bottom, fourth shelf from the bottom. So go ahead and look for that. We need two of those. So we'll go ahead and we're on aisle twelve now. So we'll go ahead and go to the mushrooms and uh, realize that there's seven ounces. So these right here are six point five. And those particular ones are pieces. So what we're looking for is pieces. And these are 6.5 as well. I'm not looking for a 7.0, so they could have the ounces wrong. That's what it sounds like to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the item. I'll go ahead and put it in here to scan it. I'll go ahead and click. And because sometimes when I go to scan it, yeah, it ends up being the correct product. So even though the ounces was off, so go on to my next product. Now step one, choose a minimum of three platforms and sign up. So you can choose anywhere from three different platforms, but understand that each platform that you sign up for is a means for you to get to where you want to be. So normally what I suggest is that you sign up with three platforms other than the Ride Local app. Now the Ride Local gives you 100% of the fares and the, and the delivery fees so the whole idea is to build your business to with the Ride Local app. So you're going to use some of these other three platforms in order to you open it up where you can attract customers for your Ride Local. It's really easy. You just go on to the next product, which we're at right there, and then look for the item. You see the item in the case here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that item there. And that's the one. It's a Kroger Canadian bacon. So I'll go ahead and look at it. There's where the barcode is. I'll go ahead and do the barcoding. And it is the right product. We accepted it. So now we go on to the next one. All right, step two is decide what time of the day you desire to work and how many hours you want. Do you prefer mornings or you prefer afternoons, you prefer evenings. So what you want to do is bring out blocks on where you are open 
to drive and start building your business. So if you can decide that, then you can figure out exactly how you're going to do it. And I'll give you an example. If you choose in the morning, most of the people in the morning are going to be back and forth to work or airport rides. So that's what your clientele is going to what you're going to focus on. Just like with everything, you have to uh, manage it. One thing I like to do is stick to the same stores so I'm familiar with the surroundings where the items are. So it just makes it more efficient. I also uh, like to group it together and change it to the where it, you know the Instacart will group it from one to whatever items there are. And you can either follow their format or you can design one that's better for you. And that's what I try to do. I judge it based on probability. So I'm constantly monitoring it, constantly rethinking right, Go ahead and comment below and tell me yes or no if you ever did any type of remote work before and how did it work out for you and what type of work you did. Step three. Right now you should have an idea of how, what hours you can block off in order to work or what you desire based on your lifestyle. So once you know that, now you can find out start out and work your way backwards to first decide how much you need to make a week in order to have income. Whether that be $100, $500, $6, $7, $8, and so on. Decide what you need to make that week. Now, you backtrack and you divide that in the amount of days that you desire to work. Now, sometimes you might have to add another day in order to get that dollar amount down where it's livable and obtainable. You remember, you don't want to set any goals that you can't obtain. You want to set goals that are, that are going to push you at your threshold, but also give you the ability to, to at least have success by completing your goals as well. That way you'll know exactly what kind of earned income you're going to get every week. And that way you can at least budget not only in your bills, but also budget on the profit and uh, your emergency fund. Now they want three of these. I'm going to go ahead and tip them all over so I can get the... get the barcode on it. Sorry, scan is showing me to uh, enter the amount. And it's been accepted. Right now that I'm done, I'll go ahead and proceed to the checkout and okay it. There's a bar code that they're gonna wanna scan for payment. So it's online, it's gonna be paid online. So I'll have them do that as I go in through the checkout. And then I'm done. That's pretty simple. Looks like I'm done with um, the shopping on this one. So I'll go ahead and right now I'm going to start the order and go ahead and go to my destinations for our delivery. Uh, it's generally not no contact. Generally I leave it there, take a picture, and then leave. And then go on to the next one. So this is really what it's about. Just keeping active and busy. Early in the morning I do my green code too. And then I do the Instacart, and today I did some point pickup, which is from Walmart. I don't do that too often because it's generally not feasible as far as the amount of money. The only thing nice about it is I can bundle those jobs together, which is kind of nice, because then I can just increase the amount I get on that particular ride. Step four, download your remote income apps that you have decided on. If you go to www.freedom.com, mobileliving.com we have a page in there that will show you all the various different types of apps that you can download and sign up for okay now that you have decided what apps to choose it's time for an action plan to implement your ways to produce income now watch further videos to show you how to reduce that create remote income while living in a mobile vehicle now follow me on Facebook it will give you a chance to engage in comments and questions with Freedom Mobile Living